Hi guys, welcome on the channel. You can see I just got the packages. Two batteries, two boxes, actually eight batteries. Yeah, nicely packed. You can see what we have inside. We have the boost bars, inclusive the nuts and this epoxy plates that go between cells. Here in the second box we have the same. So we have eight cells, we have eight bars and we have also, you see, I like it. I like it. They have those heavy cover on the corners and look how quality is shipped those packs. It is so deep and the both boxes are the same. I think those corners it is the best what you can find because when the box falls or something it can really handle all damage. I think this box it can drop from one meter or something and it will go really very easy on the corner and this material it will it will crash but it will not damage the cells. I've prepared the voltmeter and you can see we will be measuring the voltage on each cell. I have to admit they are so good. You can see lovely 3 volts 286 on the first cell. When we measure the second one you will see the same number exactly. They are a little C286. They are so very good balanced. 286. See? Perfect. It's perfect. Actually, all 8 cells, they are so good. It is going exactly the same even for 1000. Yeah, for 1 millivolt. That's really amazing. I will be in the future working with those cells. I will be charging them and discharging them and I want to see how good they are. So there will be a lot of lot of testing. See 286 all the time. Uh, now we have a little bit <laughs> fall down. But also uh, we can't see but unfortunately there is also 3 volts 286. It is so lovely cells. I'm so happy that I have bought them on the Gobble Power because for this price it is so amazing. Look, look how nice they look. It is really so amazing. Each cell 5.6 kilos. Terminals clean, looks like it is very good welded. You have the QR bar there, everything. We will later on check it on the web page, those codes and everything. Now we are on the global power and we are actually searching the product numbers. When you open here the page and you go to grade 8, then you will get to this page exactly. And here, here you can put actually the serial number from the QR code and you will get the info about the cell. I think it is very lovely because as you can see, code seems OK, length seems OK, so it seems like it's a valid data. We have the name, model, nominal capacity. You see it is the MB3 one. It is, I think, the best cell now on the market. You can have it sometimes with the better connector when it is directly from EV, but it is still good. You see the aging is half a year, I think it is fine. And this cell, it is the actually, according to this number, the worst cell from all. And it means it has 331 ampere hours. You can see the internal resistance from the fabric they have measured. And I have to say every cell is below 0.2 milliohm, which is quite nice. Here you can see the thickness of the cell. It's not also changing much. Definitely in the time the cell 
will get thicker. Uh, sorry, uh, bigger. <laughs> they will pop up a little bit because those prismatic cells, when they will be fully charged, they actually go a little bit. more mass in this direction so you see I have another one you see this one has a little bit better capacity I have here actually all eight and it's not changing really much because sometimes you can even think okay they just <laughs> modify your data and something like this but I don't know how much you can trust it because it's not officially uh, the if page it is from the global but i don't know at least they have it they have it here and looks okay i was actually uh, testing those cells and they they seems to be very okay even the promising capacity when you go from maximum to minimum it is it is really there you can reach much much more than 314 and it is what we actually want if you start maybe your discharge and uh, 3.4 and you go only to 3.1 with the reason on amps i think you can discharge only in this range 300 ampere hours and that's so cool so cool Anyway, nobody will be going 100% SOC, so I think when you have 300, usable 300, usable 300, it is so good, so there is no point to really go and buy something else, because with those 280 amps, uh, those older models, you will have like I don't know, 150, uh, sorry, 250, 55 maybe usable, and here you have 300. So it's like 20% more usable energy from those cells. That's what really matters to me. See this one? It is the 334. It is the best cell I think I have from those eight pieces. They are not from the same batch. Uh, they are even not from the same time they are in the three days range and the serials numbers are quite different i don't know if they were picking uh, the good one and uh, this one is actually great a minus so it's possible it is a little bit little bit not so good but still i think it is very okay this cell very okay for the price because I think I was bought, buying them here in Europe. It was about 70, I think 70 euros. And I, cons I consider like this is very good price. It is even cheaper for ampere hour than the older model. And this is actually the new tech. So really, I like it. I really like it, those cells. I have actually ordered another 16 because I will be working on the project 48 volts and I need more, more, more. And actually, the 48 volt system, I want to make it with four boxes of 16 cells so my usable will be about 1.2 kiloampere hours so i think it will be just cool you can go discharge maybe 9 kv because there will be free 3 kv 3 kilovolt ampere victor or multi plus 2 and i think it will be nasty system because you can push it like six hours on the full and my plan is people listen because I have the electricity on the spot market and I would like to build the system and buy the electricity when it is cheap because the spot in the Czech Republic or Europe generally it's crazy and you can find like hours you can buy for 
I don't know, let me say four, five, ten. And you can also sell for 80 cent. So that's uh, something really crazy. I'm not saying it's every day, but every day you will find difference like 100%. For this, you really need to count also the distribution cost and taxes and blah, 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 which is not so low like you maybe in the America you have it because just the distribution I think you need to count like it is 10 cent and that's quite a lot and you didn't buy even the electricity eh? so it is only the distribution to you so when the power is then 4 cent then you have 14 cent yeah? when you buy goods it's 14 cent but you can sell maybe for 40 then it is quite quite nice because then you have uh, your rabat about 100% and more so if you sell like this it is very okay and if you can sell daily let me say 50 kv and you will make like 20 cent of them then this machine will be doing 10 dollars 10 euros daily so I think it is maybe even better than some kind of mining uh, gear or whatever and you still have amazing machine you can use it for your home you can use it like the UPS you can whole whole house working and running on it uh, I don't know how many days you can maybe I don't know if you go easy you can even make maybe without heating uh, more than months on this Acupex without charging. So that's really something amazing. And uh, I am going to build the first project. I think very soon will be finished uh, the first Aku. I'm waiting for it. It's saying it's shipping, but probably it will come. I don't know. Ah. Uh, maybe ah next year it's a christmas time it's going to come the christmas time i have shown you showed you the connector and i have measured the diameter where you have the screw and actually on this cell it is i have measured the quadratic millimeter which you can touch with your boost bar and you are going to be somewhere about 70 millimeters quadrat millimeters contact if you make your better one you can go maybe to 90 but it is the maximum and 90 quadrat millimeters it's not much so if you will be really pulling a lot of power from the cells like i don't know 100 150 amps that maybe should go through easily according to the cell then those terminals and those boost bars they are only 40 uh, it will be so overheating uh, and making so much uh, heat that you really need to reconsider making your own boost bars because those are early early for the I don't know 50 60 amps maximum maximum discharge from the box so think about it when you are making the boost bars because early it is a huge difference not also counting like when you make make it maybe make it double you no know, make the boost bars and make them double you go 80 and you will finish somewhere like it is reasonable and you can discharge maybe 80 80 amps so okay guys i think it was some kind of nice and introduction to the next project and if you like it uh, then please let me know there will be more videos to follow up. You can pick up something upstairs and I see you next time. Bye bye.